tonight, an I-Team follow-up. The Attorney General is taking action now against the company that handles billing for thousands of MIFA student loans. Some borrowers are now getting money back. The I-Team's Ryan Kath has the exclusive details. To pay for college, Tanya Martins took out several loans with the state's education agency, MIFA. I feel like I'm never going to be able to pay them off. But since graduating and paying thousands of dollars, there's barely a dent in her debt. I still owe $70,000. Don't know how. The numbers just don't match up. Tanya even canceled her med school dreams because she says the company that handles MIFA's billing, ACS, wouldn't offer a more affordable plan. Their answer was, miss a payment, we'll come after your house. The I-Team found more than 500 complaints against the National Loan Servicing Company, including a borrower in New Hampshire who described the repayment structure as financial terrorism. How big is this? It's a big deal. Attorney General Maura Healy tells the I-Team that ACS has now agreed to pay $2.4 million, money that will provide restitution to borrowers. The company mishandled it. They screwed it up, and they didn't get students in the kind of payment plan that they can afford. The settlement also includes allegations of excessive late fees, improper loan payment processing, and harassing debt collection practices. We first learned of the AG's probe earlier this year and took those questions to MIFA. What's your reaction to that? I can't comment on that. How, how concerned does that make you? As I said to you, ACS is MIFA's loan servicing provider. But the AG tells the I-Team she's confident there are now improvements in place to protect Massachusetts borrowers. We need to send a message to companies and loan servicers out there that we take this seriously and we want to make sure that people play by the rules so that people, especially students, don't get hurt. And as part of that settlement, the company agreed to establish a unit that will help borrowers get into affordable repayment plans based on their income. Meantime, the AG says you can contact her office to find out if you're eligible for any of that money. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.